Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to install an awesome Stardew Valley themed data pack on your server. This data pack adds over 500 brand new items into your game. Firstly, I'll be showing you an overview of the items and features in this data pack, but later on I'll be showing you how to get it working on your server. Firstly, there are now a bunch of new custom Stardew Valley themed crops. You can get their seed packets by trading with the new wandering trader that has been introduced. Secondly, when you mine stone and deep slate, it'll also randomly drop vanilla ores and custom ores introduced into the data pack. You can use these custom ores to craft a range of weapons, tools, and blocks. Moving on, you can also craft your own furniture. For most furniture, all you have to do is place a block into a stone cutter to get the different items. For example, if you place a block of polished deep slate, you'll be able to get a dark throne chair. These chairs aren't just for decoration purposes either. As you can see, they're fully functional. However, there are some furniture pieces that require different methods to obtain them. We won't be covering them all in this video as it would take too long, but don't fret because the creators have made a wiki page with all the items in the data pack. There, you'll be able to browse for whatever item you want and find out how to obtain it in-game. Moreover, this data pack brings the option of crafting backpacks using a simple recipe. You can dye them whatever colour by placing the dye you want in the middle slot, and you can actually fill them with items too. Lastly, just like in Stardew Valley, there are now rings you can craft. All the recipes are also on the website. Some of these rings actually give you special abilities when worn. For example, if you craft the warrior ring and have it equipped, for every mob slain, you'll be granted strength for a couple of seconds. If you have a vampire ring equipped, every time you kill a mob, it'll heal you two whole hearts. And that's barely scratching the surface. There are so many more cool items in this data pack, so we recommend you check this out yourself in a server with some friends. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. Scroll down to where it says download data pack and click it for your file to be instantly downloaded. Below that, you'll see that there's also a resource pack button. If you click it and click download resource packs, it'll open an external window with three packs you can download. Essentially, only the second one is required. You can download the first one if you want the music as well though. However, the third one is for an external companion data pack that the creators have made, so you don't have to download that one at all. But if you're interested in both, simply check them and press download at the top. To make the next step easier, make sure you move these files to a place where you can easily access, for example, your desktop. Firstly, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the data pack version to ensure no complications. As of now, the creator states it's for 1.17, but this may change in the future, so please check before continuing. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Afterwards, head over to the Worlds tab. Here is where you're going to create a brand new world. It's recommended to make a fresh one, as downloading the data pack onto an already generated world may cause issues such as not generating the ores in this data pack into your world or not spawning the wandering traders at all. You can set your world name and adjust world settings as usual, but you'll also see a button below labeled Upload Data Packs. Simply click the Select Files button, locate the Stardew Valley zip and then press Create World. It'll take a second for the files to upload, but when that's done, you should go into the Files tab. If you see a new folder with the name you set it as and it has the Stardew Valley zip inside, it means you have officially uploaded the data pack onto your server. Now that the data pack is uploaded onto the server, you'll have to make sure the required resource pack is also installed. To do that, you'll want to head back to the files folder. Then open up the server.properties file and look for the line saying resource pack. After the equals, you want to right click and paste the link to the required pack. We ourselves have uploaded that file to our Dropbox, so if you'd like, you can use our link, it'll be in the description. Alternatively though, you can upload the resource pack to any website that supports creations of hotlinks, and then put your own link into the server.properties file. 
If you downloaded the music texture pack as well though, you can enable that in your own client later on. Before continuing, make sure to press save file to confirm the changes and then you can head back to your server dashboard. Here make sure to restart the server to make sure the resource pack loads properly. Then you should copy the server host name and paste it into the multiplayer section of Minecraft in order to join your server. Upon joining, you should be prompted with this resource pack pop-up. All you have to do is press yes for the pack to appear in game. If you downloaded the music resource pack too, go to options, resource packs and then enable it from there. And that's it, you're all set up to play. Well that's it for this video, if you have any questions make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching!